Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11. I have a jam-packed video for you guys today regarding the continuation of replacement tires on my 2020 Supra. I hope you'll stay to the end to watch all parts, but we left off the last video getting the new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's installed. Well, that turned into leading to an error message on the screen, and I'll show you what's involved in that and clearing it. Then I'm gonna take you for a driving review of the tires in the cold and wet see how they perform next i'm going to show you the results of the alignment i just had performed on the car to see if it was out and then finally we're going to spruce up the tires i'm going to throw some permanent tire shine on and you'll see the final results now i am getting this message on startup which is strange how the heck does it know i changed tires maybe they mixed up you know the left and right side something like that or maybe it's just based on tire pressures. So I am gonna reset the tire pressures and have the system relearn them, and hopefully that'll go away. All right, I filled up the tires, got them pretty close. I do run them lower than stock, around 34 PSI. But anyway, going to tire settings, I already had changed this out of the auto selection because I did lower the tire pressures. So going to tire settings, and we're gonna perform reset. Can't do this when you're moving. So perform reset. All right, now we just gotta drive. All right, finally. It was about, yeah, almost two miles before it reset. All right, guys, I'm gonna start the tire review on a very cold morning. It's only in the low 40s here. I'm gonna put it in Sport Plus mode. Definitely check out my video if you didn't see how to do that. Yeah, they're, they're holding on nice for being as cold as it is. Yeah, they feel good and actually maybe a little bit more refinement of course, there's a lot more tread now because they're brand new tires. We're supposed to get a rainy day tomorrow, actually. So I'm gonna, I am gonna test them out in the rain. They should do a lot better than the stock Super Sports. On the racetrack I'm going to take it back to pit race and we'll compare lap times from the super sports to the 4s's so definitely give this video a like and, and subscribe so you don't miss that video all right I want to do a full throttle acceleration I am in traction mode middle stability control setting see if we get some wheel spin here yeah a little bit of wheel spin still but not bad it's only 43 degrees so pretty impressed so far all right guys i want to show you what it sounds like on the highway again not a lot of tire noise actually let me put this in uh, normal mode get that exhaust drone off i hear some wind noise but a little bit quieter than the super sports though promise it's a new day and it's raining so good test for the michelin pilot forest tires in the wet we'll see how they handle we'll take it out on the highway as well to see the hydroplaning resistance yeah taking around some curves the same ones as yesterday <laughs> You can hear the rain on the windshield and the wipers are at constant. Yeah, they're doing well. Of course, I'm taking it a little more easy than yesterday. Yeah. I mean, these tires 
from my experience in the C7 really excel in the wet, on road, and um, you know, the, really the only thing that is the toss up is gonna be the track performance. But the track performance of the C7 had OEM Corvette compound super sport. So I think that really affected it. Now the BMW spec in the Supra, I'm not sure it was as aggressive as the Corvette compound. So we're gonna find out though in a, in a couple weeks. All right, let's do a full throttle acceleration in the wet. I know this isn't ideal, but yeah. Definitely spun, traction control kicked in, but very controllable. It's still cold today though. It's only in the low 40s again. We're gonna take it up to highway speeds now and heavy downpour right now. Yeah, 65 mile an hour, no problem. I'm gonna put it in normal mode. There was a little bit of bonding of water there, and it's fine. Up to about 70, 75. Okay, a little bit of heavy water there. Felt, felt a little bit of hydroplaning. But overall, guys, I think these tires, the 4S's, are awesome in the wet and the cold, and much better than the OEM Super Sports in those conditions. Now, hot testing and dry, they're probably gonna be pretty similar. I'll, I'll definitely be testing it on track, so, so please subscribe and turn on notifications for when that happens. Next, I took the Super into West Point Auto Works to get an alignment done to be sure everything was in spec, and they were awesome to deal with. They have the newest alignment equipment and were able to tweak everything perfectly. And I'll put a link below to their shop if you're in the area. But as for the results of the alignment, the stock alignment really wasn't out of spec besides for being a hair out in the rear left toe. So I just had them tweak the settings to get as close to the center of the spec as possible. But unfortunately, I think due to the aggressive camber on this car, I'm still going to get that inside edge wear. Okay, finally, guys, I wanted to show you the results. I applied some permanent tire shine from door coating. It's the Dura Dressing Tire Kit. And I've used this before on my Jeep tires, but it's really cool. You do have to clean the tire very well before you use it, but you apply it once and it lasts the life of the tire. So I'm all about that, not having to reapply tire dressing every time you wash the car. If you want to check the product out, I'll have an Amazon link below, and I also have an application video. I'll put the card above. But overall, I'm really happy with how the new tires turned out. The 285 3519s in the rear fill out that rear tire gap a little better. And they, they look beefy. Yeah, I, I like how it looks. And the same tires in front. Of course, I'm not putting the spacers on at this point. I'm probably going to leave them off for a while. I do plan on tracking it. So I'm just going to leave them off and see how they do. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a comment below if you have questions or comments about anything I covered today. But thanks for watching and appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next video.